It's Casey. We're here with our vending machines getting set up. It's uh, about Christmas time. You can hear the Christmas music going in the background. And uh, we got a handful of candy machines for the new venture that we're taking, undertaking. Here they all are. Got a mess here as I'm trying to put everything together. Um, so we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven machines here. And we've got two machines that are already placed. Uh, all of these machines are bought from a little bit of a different place. For the, and uh, the purpose is to try them all out and figure out which one we like the most. These machines right here are the Venstar 3000s. Got four of those. Those are purchased off of eBay, and uh, a little bit of Googling will tell you where they came from. They're all plastic machines, and uh, came from a company that everyone's been indicted on, and uh, they were running some sort of a scam, but that doesn't make the machines uh, any less valuable. You can buy two of the Venstars, which is the gray ones, for about $200, $240 when you consider shipping. So... We're running about $120 per machine on these. Everything is plastic, including the contraption there. And one thing to look out for if you end up buying a Venstar is that most of them do not come with the keys that you're seeing on the top here. That is a uh, add-on. Might cost about $20 more. So if you buy one of these on eBay, make sure that it says with keys. If it does not, consider that in your price. Next up the line, we've got these machines right here. I've actually got two of them. Uh, the black one here was purchased on eBay. I'm sorry, it was purchased on Amazon. The Amazon machine uh, ran about $180 and that was including free shipping. So that was a pretty good deal. The yellow one back here, same model, was purchased directly from the manufacturer in China. Uh, the China machine was only $85, but when you worked in shipping, it worked out to more around 210 So, if you like these machines, it's best to go with the machines from uh, Amazon.com. Now, one thing about these machines, they're better shaped. We've got metal, everything's quality, it comes with uh, the locks, but either side of the machine, by default, comes with the one inch dispenser. So if we turn around and take a look at this one right here, we will see that I use gumballs in the one on the left and jawbreakers in the one on the right. Only the middle dispenses candy. Got to think about that before you decide what you're going to sell, uh, what type of machine you get. With the Vent Stars, it's all candy dispensers. Now our final machine here is this machine right here which comes from candymachines.com um, it was packaged really well I don't remember the exact price but it was somewhere around $200 uh, we have one gumball dispenser in the middle and two candy dispensers on the outside one of the tricks with this particular machine is that it's very customizable because you're buying it directly from a website that specializes in vending um, they know what they're doing and you don't have to settle for the default settings. So in my case, I've got a 25 cent gumball dispenser in the middle and two 50 cent candy machines dispensers on the outside. What I'm doing right now is I'm expanding the size of the dispensed product by adjusting the settings on the inside. So I'm going to put something like M&Ms and Reese's Pieces on either side of the machine and you'll get a lot more since it's 50 cents. Uh, we're going to test that out and see how it performs in comparison to the other machines in our locations. Alright, it's time to give a test. Now that we've got the inside bolts adjusted, we adjusted it by unscrewing three screws. This one right here, this one right here, and this one right here. And then you just move the teeth to make this slot right here wider. And now the test is going to be how much product gets dispensed from the machine. We need to make sure that it is enough for the customer package, but not too much that we aren't making any money. So we're going to use M&M's peanuts for this and give it a test, see how it works out.
one of the keys to testing out a machine is to have quarters. Now I have quarter, but not quarters. So our 50 cent machine is not gonna be able to be tested today. What you would do is put two quarters, one on either side, and turn the device. But since I can't do that, we're gonna have to come back at a later date, see how the 50 cent dispenses, see if I've got the sizing right on the candy dispenser. In the meantime, I'm gonna continue on and get the rest of these machines set up, and we'll be back in a flash. All right, we got two more machines set up here. I'm ready to go. Now one of the keys is going to be the test to make sure that we got the volumes right. Got to go in here, go in the back. This is where we get our quarters from. One of the tricks with the uh, this particular machine is that the quarters will oftentimes get stuck up in the dispenser. Now, if you got multiple quarters coming through, it's okay. Because they'll eventually fall out. But when you're checking the machine, it's an important point. Grab out our test quarter here. We'll go around to the front, throw some stuff on the ground as we do it. And we're gonna test each one out. Hot tamales. First run, always is gonna come out empty. Grab our test quarter from the back of the machine. We'll give it a try again. This time we should be getting product. This is what we got. Now you tell me, how would you feel if you put money into this machine and that's what you got out. We're gonna have to open that up a little bit. So one of the reasons why I like M&Ms and Reese's Pieces, you can end up getting in Skittles. You can end up keeping the slot a lot smaller. You get a lot more vends, but people feel a lot better about what they're getting. That's the Skittles vend. Look at the same thing that a quarter gives you on the exact same setting for the hot tamales. So let me go ahead and pop this open make some adjustments and we'll give it another spin. All right, we're back with another test. We got the quarter in. Nothing the first time. Second run. There we go. Much better. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 pieces. I feel a lot happier about that if it was your quarter. Well, this is how far we've gotten, and unfortunately I've hit another stumbling block. As you can see, we get these nice little labels. It makes it easy for people to see the calories and what's inside. Well, this one right here, M&M's peanut butter, it's a little bit rare, and unfortunately I ran out of labels. So back here, we got some M&M peanut butter in there, but no label to go with it. I get these labels from a company called DealSell.com, so I guess I'm going to have to visit them for some uh, more great deals, unless I can uh, figure out what I might have done with the label, because... You would think I would plan ahead on this, but it's looking like not. But we've got, regardless, three machines that are fully ready to go. So next time I come back, we'll go take a look at some of the machines that have already been placed, see how well they're doing, and see how much we collected. Until then, it's Casey. I'm out.